Well, we support responsible mining. Oceana Gold operation in the Dipio Casibu Nueva Vizcaya, which borders Quirino, is a world-class mine. We have won environmental awards from the inception of our operations. We have an open mine. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I have a chance to call on uh, Secretary Gina Lopez, who's, by the way, a personal friend, uh, I hope to invite her to visit our mine. Uh, I'm sure she'd love that. And uh, we are covered by the FTA, the Financial Technical Assistance Agreement. We have a 25-year contract with the government. This was awarded during the time of President Fidel V. Ramos. And we started operations in 2013 in the term of President Aquino. We have undergone the strictest review by DNR, MGB, EMB. Right. And we are very proud to say that we are following the Canadian and Australian mining standards. Right. So basically none of her warnings are uh, scaring you guys off. No, I think, I think she means well. I think uh, if you look at Secretary Gina Lopez with a positive light, uh, she might be a golden opportunity for our responsible mining companies. Because if what she will stop are the irresponsible miners, then we have no problem with that. Uh, we're not the only company in, in this field. Uh, Nickel Asia, for example, is certainly one of the you know, responsible mining companies right. in this country. Here's the thing though, Joey. Oceanic Gold, as you said, was awarded an extension on the DPO just this March to continue exploration work on, um, on that mine. That's valid through to 2021. But last week, Gina Lopez ordered that permit cancelled. Where do you go from here? Uh, let's distinguish between the mine operation, which has the FTA, and this permit. This is an exploration permit, which was frankly long delayed because the MGB uh, was very strict. And finally, we were given this permit, you know, b about two, three months ago. And now we are surprised that due to a visit of an NGO, which have internal problems with the community, uh, that, uh, you know, this report came out. We have not been officially advised by the good secretary. I'm looking forward to hearing from her. Uh, I would like to, of course, call on her and uh, maybe through you, a uh, request for an appointment. And we want to work with her, we want to engage with her, but we follow the president's policy. President Duterte said there are mining laws, we must follow the mining laws. Right, but so, so she's basically, uh, you know, been very vocal about uh, ordering the that permit cancelled, also that was confirmed by MGB, uh, MGB's uh, Mr. Hazareno himself. So where do you go from here? Well, if, if you can't explore anymore? Well, definitely if you cannot explore, that will prevent future investment and future expansion in this country. And that would be worrisome because you need exploration all over the country, not just by ourselves, but other responsible mining companies. But I still have to be... Uh, formally uh, advised. advised and uh, I'm giving the, uh, the department the benefit of the doubt because I am sure if they will take such a step that they will follow procedure, review all the processes just as we have to avail also of all legal remedies. If this does not go in your favor, can you envision a scenario where an Oceana Gold pulls out of the Philippines entirely? No, 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 no. We have got too much invested in the Philippines. We love this country. We're a Filipino company. I'm the local chairman, and I sit in the board of the mother company. We are committed to this country, and we are really happy that we have a president who is very proactive, and uh, we believe we can do business with President Duterte. And... Uh, I don't mean to be in the middle of other mining companies. My main focus is Oceana Gold. But there are a lot of prospects. This country could be the Chile of Southeast Asia. And e even the key cities of this country, Cagayan de Oro, Mindoro. I mean, it's just Tiene Oro. 
and uh, you know, there is gold. Right, right. But except this administration has decided to tighten the news on the industry. The no, other... no, tighten the news on the irresponsible mining. So the president never said he was anti-mining. But then you have House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez wanting a blanket ban on mineral ore exports, also suggesting that miners be put, be subjected to congressional franchises. Well, we leave that to Congress to decide. There's the Congress, there's the Senate, there's the Joint Committee. And of course, the Chamber of Mines, which I'm a director, and the PCCI, I'm the co-chairman of the Mining Committee, will also look into that. I mean, we are not against taxation. We just want a study, firm, and predictable fiscal regime. And we can work with the government on the taxes. And on the part of the government, may I suggest, that they also find a mechanism of making our tax payments go direct to the barangays, to the municipalities, to the provinces, so they immediately benefit. I'm sure, uh, you know, Secretary Dominguez and Secretary Jokno uh, can address that issue. What do you think specifically, though, of the proposal to ban mineral ore exports, much like Indonesia did two years ago? Well, theoretically, that is good, but it requires a lot of investments to put down processing facilities. So it really depends on individual companies. And uh, I, in, in principle, I support it. Uh, that's why we have a copper smelter in this country. But the pricing of our copper must also be competitive. We cannot have the copper smelter, which is a private company, dictate on the copper companies right. what the price is. It will affect Atlas, Lepanto, Felix, and copper exporters like Oceana Gold. Right, fair enough. Just very quickly, lastly, Joey, any thoughts on this proposal to break up the DENR? Uh, the idea being regulating the environment should be separate from regulating the mining industry. Well, the problem there is if you split it, and many are advocating splitting it, you bring up the problem to the president. What we need is a DNR secretary, and hopefully we have one with my friend Gina, who would balance the needs for environmental protection and resource development. Then it's centralized at the top. And for us to support, to split that, would seem to indicate we are not happy with the DNR secretary, so she must just be DE. That's not true. I, uh, we want to work with her, we want to engage with her, and we look forward to the president's policy. You know? on supporting right. responsible mining. You want to keep the NR and DENR. Absolutely. Thank you very much for your candid insights this morning, Joey Laviste, Oceana Gold Chairman. Thank Appreciate you. it.